bringing you to. So it is a nice and I think it's a chilly morning outside. And I'm here to show you my arts and crafts with Casey um, series. Today uh, for this project, you are going to need a nice blank piece of paper. We're gonna need about half the size. So you're just going to need a piece of paper, you can fold it in half, just a blank paper, and you'll, you'll, you will also need a black permanent marker for this as well. Okay. Good morning YouTube and welcome back again to my channel. Today is the Arts and Crafts with Casey series. So in this video, you will need a piece of paper, a blank piece of paper. You can have it folded as well. It doesn't have to be too big and you'll need a black permanent marker. So this morning is actually a little bit chilly looking outside, so that is why I'm wearing my gray hoodie from Leave to Me Gym Wear, sponsored athlete over here. As we begin, we just need this paper. We're going to fold it in half like a hot dog, thing. just like that. You we'll only need this one piece of paper, one of the halves of the hot dog holes. Now we are going to fold this paper the hamburger way, but just at least this much. Okay, so now with the black permanent marker, we are going to write the equation. One, two, eight, V, oh, sorry, not V, the square root of E, G, O, and that's it. When you do unfold this, you do get a secret message that says, I love you. Because I messed up on the first one. <laughs> So we fold the paper down, we write the equation down, one, two, eight, the square root of E, G, Zero. And in this equation, you get the words, I love you. So if you want to pass this message on to your lover, or a secret message to your secret admirer, here you go. Okay, so take number three. I actually told you guys to fold it the hamburger fold, but now I actually want you guys to fold it the hot dog fold, but not too much. Just about that, that much. So again, for the equation, it is one, 
two, eight, the square root of E, G, <laughs> zero. So now, can anybody solve this equation for me? Now you will see the actual words, I love you. And please, I do apologize for the background noise as it is hard to share a house during quarantine um, when I want to do my filming for YouTube. Mohammed is doing his workouts. <gasps> <laughs> and the oven actually just beeped too as well. So this is all for today's Arts and Crafts with KC with a K and I'll see you in my next YouTube video. If you have any other suggestions for me on my canvas paintings, I did receive my new liquid paint pens, acrylic marker pens. I also received some new brushes from Amazon as well along with my glitter paint. I may be able to finish my first two canvas paintings that I have right here. This is the first one. I think I'm going to finish it actually because now that I do have white acrylic paint, I will be able to make those pretty flowers. Also, this is the secondary one, but with this one, I used my art paint set with the pastel crayons. This is the one, or yeah, pastel crayons, or the dry pastels. And this is where I smudged it and with a paper towel or toilet paper, like little piece. And this one can also become a finished piece as well. Okay, so that actually is now the end of this YouTube video. I shall see you in the next one. Have a great day, bye. This is our little gym area, which I would have loved even more if I was able to buy a Smith squat rack. Really, really expensive though. Oh, <laughs> this filter is toilet paper. Look, Bubba. Turn your head. <laughs> Don't forget to hit the uh, subscribe button somewhere over here, the like button down below, and comment on my video, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!